Hi, I'm Skip Matthews and I flame paint copper. In this video, we'd like to explain what flame painted copper is and what makes it unique. I'm Rachel Matthews, Skip's wife. I studied fine art at the University of Arizona. After 25 years of painting and teaching art, I finally let my husband put a torch in my hands and flame painting has become my medium of choice. Recently, we moved our studio to the Ozark Folk Center's Craft Village in Mountain View, Arkansas. And now we're on a new adventure of flame painting copper together. Flame painting is a process of uh, capturing colors and shapes and tones uh, with just the flame on copper. We call it a bunch of hot air on copper. I'm starting with a piece of copper where, that I've put together and done all the engineering on and everything, polished it as clean as I can get it, and that's our working surface. Once I get it clean, then I'm going to use the heat to create an oxidation on the surface. There's five stages of oxidation, but on the butterflies I only use the hottest one, which is a brown. And when I do pattern work in that brown oxidation, I will get 14 different color levels available to me. I can only capture about three on each individual piece. So as the copper heats and it oxidizes and the cop copper oxide changes thicknesses, it changes colors. Tell me about this torch. It's an oxyacetylene torch except we burn propane and oxygen because it's cleaner. The tip of that cone is about 5,000 degrees and it's creating that blue atmosphere around it that's a reduction atmosphere and that's what we draw with. So we come in and we actually use that reduction atmosphere to create patterns in the surface. And as those patterns heat, they will go through color changes. We have to start with our hottest colors which are turquoise, yellow, and pink. And then we work backwards to progressively cooler colors. It's not how hot the flame is, it's how hot the metal gets. One of the most unique things is that there are several influences on the colors. One of them is what's in the air at the time you're coloring, which means that you may get one color one day and a different color the second day. When I teach this, I tell people that we're not trying to shoot for a specific color, that's pretty close to insanity, but we're trying to create contrast and composition, which is takes hundreds of hours to create a vocabulary in this particular medium. Now to create some more excitement in it, I'm going to come in and use the clear copper color but not heat it after this and then it'll stay that way. One more butterfly. Skip and I are very different individuals. Skip is spontaneous. I'm more planned. He prefers three dimensions with a particular flair for the abstract whereas I prefer two dimensions and have a love for doing symmetry. Because of this, we make a large variety of wall decor, jewelry, and freestanding vases and bolts for people to choose from. And yet, we complement each other by producing a unified body of work. In this media, it's all eye-hand coordination. People will say, well, what temperature do you get this color at? I have no idea. That's not the purpose. I know from experience, and I can actually watch, once I lay a pattern out, I can watch those colors change, and then I know when to stop. So you have to learn on the fly where your colors are going, and so you're, you may color, start in the morning and say, okay, this is my intention but then all of a sudden your intention gets changed because none of the things that worked yesterday are working this day. So one of the things that's really fun about flame painting and the hardest part is that you are always having to be attentive and staying true to what it's doing. And it controls you about 30% and you control it about 70%. So if you're a control freak, this is not the media to work in. 
We not only sell our product here at the Folk Center, we demonstrate flame painting copper and are interpreters for coppersmiths of the past. It's exciting to come here and actually see how the colors come on copper, but you can always call us, email us, or check out our website to learn more about us or to make a purchase. We also offer several ways you can get instruction on how to flame paint copper. Visit us online or in Arkansas and let us know if there's any way we can be of service to you.